We run residential programs for Queensland State Schools. Uh, students usually come to us for th either three or five day camps um, and the programs we run here directly align to the Australian curriculum and rather being in, within four walls, those students are out here on the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park in Wapabara country, um, learning about climate change, the Great Barrier Reef, collecting um, scientific data, um, we do cultural walks, um, kayaking, sustainable fishing, uh, learning about renewable energies. This is a Konomi Island environmental education school here on Konomi Island and we are now fully off the grid and we have invested around $1.4 million for 258 solar panels. We've got 36 lithium phosphate batteries which makes this island now completely carbon neutral and it is the first island in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park that is carbon negative. We get students from all over Queensland and we tell them how connected they really are to this place and they're connected through the damage that's being done um, back in their communities with climate change. Firstly is take them out snorkeling to a reef that's seen the impact of climate change uh, we show them that reef and then we actually take them to a reef that is in really good health um, so they can then see the difference um, and then from there we learn about the renewable energies uh, and then we go and we, we, we go up to our system and the students are able to have a look up there but the other great thing is they're actually living in a sustainable community for five days where they get to experience that and then what we hope is that when they go back to their community they then become the teacher to enact some um, things within their lifestyles within their community their school community in terms of kilowatts, it's uh, just shy of 100 kilowatts of, uh, of peak solar power. In terms of energy yield, we're looking at maybe 450 kilowatt hours of energy produced by the array uh, on an average day throughout the year. 450 kilowatt hours, to put that in, in perspective, the average Queensland home uh, these days uses around 21, 22 kilowatt hours. So yeah, 450 kilowatt hours, that's a, that's a lot of homes that this system can, can provide energy for. This is a great trial basis for us now to see can we replicate this on other sites in our school system. We have around 12, um, 1,262 state schools around the state, some as you know in very regional and remote Queensland. So this now, this particular off-grid power system, this renewable energy with battery storage, with solar generation can be the trial of what we might be able to replicate in some of our other school sites. I think it's wonderful here now and for the future and for um, our Wapapara and Konami of course and for the future for making it better for our beautiful island which is paradise. Oh, I think it's amazing you know how this education centre and what the education department is doing to make it so sustainable and, and environmental and, and it, it's helping to bring our island alive. I think this can be a blueprint for other islands across the Great Barrier Reef and around the world on how you can make an off-grid system, uh, make a development more sustainable, but then uh, in this case incorporate education so that these students are going into their lives and around the world to transform the way that we live around the world. All the solar panels you can see here are made in Australia. Uh, we even have components in the, uh, in the building that are actually designed, engineered and made in Brisbane. Um, as, as, as well as uh, other equipment made in, in Victoria. It's groundbreaking, um, I wish we could see more of it. As a teacher, um, seeing students walk away with um, extended knowledge and, and passion um, really ignites the fire within us and our passion. Um, so it's, it's really positive, um, the steps that are being invested in the centre um, to bring it up to really world-class standard.